It kind of demands an answer, which we do have here. I think we start with a full, uh, full Overlord. Keep that pressure coming. Double Unsummon. Smells like lethal to me. Bouncy. Bouncy. Very nice. Good game. Welcome back, I'm Dr. Ruckus, and today in Top Ranked Mythic we're playing one of my favorite color combinations, Teamer. With a couple new upgrades from, from Foundations, the first of which is Burst Lightning. I like this in here over Torch Tower. Torch Tower does a lot of great things. It exiles things, you know, a couple mono red pesky creatures want to die, get their death trigger, this does shut that down. If you bargain away a random enchantment, and yeah, I mean, we're going to have some random enchantments floating around. Ideally, you flip them, but if you had to bargain them, you could. You could deal three damage, pick off like a uh, three mana, two, three slasher that wants to come back. There's definitely upside there, plus the scry. But in a deck that kind of dirtles along for a, wrong, a long time, it doesn't always have a clear win con. It can take a while for these things to flip, and they still have to wait a turn to attack, and then maybe you get attack in, but by that time your opponent's been sitting on four go for the throats all day, you know, so those eventually get burned. It's kind of, it takes a while to win, and so having just the ability to dome the opponent for four in a deck that has a ton of lands and a ton of mana is not that bad. I like it a lot. It means you get, you know, you get an overlord down early, you ping him for four, maybe one of your three overlords actually connects after after all their go for the throats are done. And then it's just like an overlord and a couple burst lightnings out of nowhere. And you can end the game pretty quickly. So I really like that here today over Torch Tower, even though I understand this has a lot of upside. The other card I do like in here is Unsummon over into the Flood Maw. Into Flood Maw is a bit more flexible. Like every once in a while, yeah, you can nab some random enchantment your opponent has, bounce it, replay your thing, and like do something kind of cute and cool before they can replay the enchantment. But the ability to unsummon your, your own overlords in those long games and then replay them, get the enter, enter the battlefield trigger again, uh, is quite good and I think worth playing with eight one drops in the deck you're going to be suited up against mono red and ready to go i like when decks are built that way just feels so much better to not die instantly two drops um pretty standard stuff four beanstalks four whales great against mono red four virus victory great against everything early mid range falls off a bit when you got like four cards in hand you can't quite answer the four mana six six demon yet but then late game once you've gone nuts off the beanstalk and the flood pits you have plenty of cards in hand you can kill anything in the game with this very flexible the other cards all right so then we got the, the flood pits on on top you could maybe run a few fewer uh, builds if you really wanted to the two flex spots in my opinion are ancient cornucopia and paw patch formation you could almost put anything here you could put three steps ahead but i don't really think it's worth it it's just so hard to run counters with cavernous souls like the one deck i really want to be able to counter that you just can't answer is the uh milling demir demon deck they slam the six six demon you know you have six cards left and then they attack you with the mill creature or um jace and that's where you want the counter spell but they just play cavernous souls and then you just can't counter their demon anyway so, I don't know about this card. I don't think it's worth a slot. It's just hard to run counter spells as so long as Cavernous Souls is a standard. Brotherhood's in. You could run some sweepers in here. We don't have that many sweepers, although in general, I feel like standard doesn't really go that wide these days. You got a couple big mono red creatures. Um, you got a couple big demons. Every once in a while, a rabbit's deck will go wide, and you'll be like, well, I wish I had a sweeper for that, but it's fairly uncommon in general. You could do some fun things like Invasion of Arcavios, this town ain't big enough, Doppelgam, go way over the top, but I just kind of find... The games that are going that long are against other control opponents. And I just worry about, you know, the target for Doppelgang getting picked out or, the, you know, tapping out and getting counterspelled. And I just feel like I didn't really need that over the top extension. The deck kind of already has enough with all your two and three drops and four drops doubling as five and six drops. You don't need that much more power, I don't think. I ran some games with Maze Mind Tome, you know, kind of along the premise of, all right, well, we got four Beanstalks, four Flood Puts. Let's just throw more draw engines. Whoever has a draw engine first tends to win those games, but it's not quite as good without a Sweeper. I feel like this card is at its best when you're dirtling along, you're scrying, you're drawing, you set up for the Sweeper, you sweep, you get the life, and you, you've kind of gotten ahead in a way that, that you otherwise might not be able to, but without the Sweeper, it doesn't really seem to sing quite as well. So what I settled on is the Ancient Cornucopia and the Paul Patch, and they could really be almost any card, but the Cornucopia is at its best here. We're already running 26 land, but it's really nice to go turn 3 Cornucopia. That sets you up for a turn 5, slam one of your Flood Pits or Haunt Woods, and since we're running 8 1 drops, you can go turn 3 Cornucopia plus on someone at Burst Lightning and really start to get ahead, so I think it's quite solid. Paul Patch formation is, like, insane in terms of what it does in standard today. It, it almost does everything. It's a two mana instant. You can kill a creature with flying, which means you can kill all the mono black demons. You can kill some random ass mono red creatures suited up with, you know, Feather of Flight. Um, you can destroy an enchantment. You can take their shelter by ghosts. You can take their annex. You can take your beanstalk. And in so many games, like whoever has the draw engine enchantment down first wins. And then the fail safe is you just cycle it, draw a card, and you get a food token that you can eat versus mono red. 
it almost does everything. The only thing it doesn't do is just straight up kill a random mono red 2 mana 2-2, two two, but boy does it do almost anything else. So as weird as that is, you could pretty much throw anything in here and you'd be just fine. Uh, but pop patch formation is kind of cool in that it really answers a lot of the things you might have to deal with. So that's the deck. Enjoy the gameplay. Let's dive right in. On the play, let's keep it. Unsummon, ready to go. What do we got here? Going to touch the land. It's Simic. Get ready. It's green. It's mono green. My goodness. Mono green elves. Ah, uh, do we bounce you? They're going to ramp it to the three drop. It's actually not a bad bounce here. We can unsummon. And then try to overlord something later. Another beanstalk. My goodness. All right, here we go. Up the beanstalk. I like that. Ooh. Okay. I think we zap you with fires right here. Don't feel like we need to. I mean, they want to go with like the 4 4. Um, hmm. Yeah, we don't really have an answer to the demon just yet. And we're kind of far away from um, having the fires do 6 damage. So I think if we just keep them off the, the you know, 4 mana 6 6 demon for a little while longer, it's going to work better in our favor. They might have the uh, Tear Asunder Exile Enchantment spell. Timer comes out. They touch the things. They touch our graveyard. Preacher of the Schism. I mean, we can just zap that. I think we might as well. This can be Overlord. Avatar. Zappy, zappy. Draw a card. Another one summons. Not bad against demons. Land in hand. Another tap land. It's an annex. Okay. They got their draw engine too. Beanstalk or Overlord? We could do a big, uh, big Overlord next turn if we Beanstalk here. So I guess that's fine. We've unsummoned for a uh, demon. Another Beanstalk. Not bad at all. We just want to leave blue open if we can. Uh, yeah, I guess either way is fine. Sure. Okay. Not a bad place to be. We got a huge draw next turn. And, um,. Yeah, we just bounce you. Send it back. Try again. All right. Who's coming to play here? So what do we need? We need answers for the Archfiend. If we just slam the Flood Pits for five, it's not bad. But we definitely could hit another playable here. You can be blue. You can be blue. We'll leave open red. You can be colorless. I think it's just take like a massive draw here. Alright, Fires could answer the 6-6 demon potentially, so I don't hate that. We need more red in general. Let's probably get rid of this fast land. Burst Lightning could be a cool win con for 3 mana. Um, and we could just fire us the demon right now, right? Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, if we do nothing, we can fire us the demon immediately, which means not playing a land for turn. Is that worth it? I think so. Kind of weird, but I don't hate it. So we keep everything in hand. We didn't hit land for turn, which is kind of a weird decision. But you're coming back down. And we zap you for a uh, six. We don't have too many answers to that, so. We start to flip the boiler bilges. 39 cards left. That's a great draw. All right, so we're starting to move into the later stages of the game here. I kind of think we just slammed the boiler bilges. And we start looking at these burst lightnings as win cons. Don't think we need to hold up a mana this turn. Let's start to get them dead. They are down to 14. Another beanstalk. Whale's okay. Land's okay. More burst lightning would be pretty cool. Down to 10. We can bin one of the fast lands here. I think you can go. Alright, very nicely set up. Alright, they're going to spend the turn removing, which means they're going to drop low off the Annex. To 8. Looks like we have them just with Burst Lightning alone, yeah? Attack here. Hit him for 4. Burst Lightning. 4 to the face. Get him dead. Zapparoonie. Good game. On the play, looks pretty dang good here. We'll keep this. Land. Hold lightning. Let's go. 
Furby also in red. Furby, meet the burst lightning. Okay, we could um hold the whale for a hasty creature, but there's no guarantee they have it. They could play, you know, a slow mouse or something like this. We have the overlord coming, which is nice. So that'd be a good whale target, but that's okay. I do think, ooh, that's really good. I think we're saving the whale here. And then we'll just overlord next turn. Don't need to get greedy by playing the Hotwoods. We're doing just fine. Okay. You got a rage or what? Two damage. Well, let's at least try to balance the challenger. See if they want to put rage on the other thing. We actually, like, don't really want to bounce this thing. Shock face. That's fine. Because uh, we'd love to have a target for the boiler bitches. So I think we'll just take the two here. It's 14. Okay, I think we're still just going to bilge here. Down to 13. I don't love that. Zap you. We're still holding the unsummon, though, which is good. Could just drop a 5 mana 6 5 next turn, though. Ooh, that's a card. I don't love that. Unsummon's really good against that, though. So we could haunt woods and, like, unsummon for a couple turns in a row. We just need, ideally not a pain land here. Um, hold on. Ah, it's a pain land either way, isn't it? Okay. We want blue, we want blue. Eh. I mean, there's no way to do it, right? Unless we really want to guarantee. Hold on, let's do it like this. Down to nine. Okay, we have double and summon. Or just a single whale would be pretty good here. Nine's not a good place to be, though. That is also not great. The double bounce is looking good here, though. And then whale next turn. Goodbye. Take one down to eight. Goodbye. We're land for us. I think we're starting with this and a draw, basically. Uh, we can still whale here no matter what. That's really good. Okay, as far as things coming together, I think we kind of have the best things going on as we could. And if they just go Nemesis again, we have clean answers for a little while. They have something here to play. You want to rage up? Nah, you're a chicken. A smart chicken, but a chicken. Let's see if shock. Ooh, they're going to shock it. That's bad. We can't gain life now. Down to six with no ability to gain life. So now the only way out is through. So I think it's whale time. The tome has lost its value. So we slam a whale and hold unsummon, I guess. All right, let's go. We got a win here. And we should have taken the upkeep scry off the tome because um, we're gonna have space to draw this turn. Nemesis returns. Again, not really good here. Block like this. I guess they have Rock Face Village. That's unnecessary. It's a good habit in general because it gives them one last chance to try to use like a pump spell. Hero. Down to six. Hmm. We could probably Beanstalk and Flood Pits here. Still keep open options. Okay, I don't need you. This would give us red and any color. So we got a huge amount of draws. Try to hit like one more bounce spell or something. Interact a piece. Yeah, no, nothing yet. Huge freaking whiff. Okay. So now what? Um, it's not really good. Obviously, we can kill the hero here. And flip the Hauntwoods, and that's just kind of it. I mean, either you got it or you don't. I feel like Auto Tapper has been not leaving back mana for Rage. But if they have Rage here, they just win. Uh, we could draw. We could draw into, I guess, one more Bounce Spell, right? Nope. Should have taken that Scry. Okay. Let's see if you got it. 
We have a 6-5 blocker. If they go Nemesis, Rage, they just win. And this time the auto tapper doesn't screw them, so that's pretty bad. I feel like that's game. They have the shock here. So I think we just lose. Unfortunately. I think they have shock. But there's no way to do it. We'd need one more bounce bill. Yeah, it's too bad. We couldn't gain life all this even if we wanted to. Well, that sucks. I don't feel like they really deserve that game. It sucks. Well, the draw looks okay. Shen Go Plan Boros. Very unique. Alright, we're going fast land zap here. Um, we could... Yeah, I guess we kind of have to. I guess we could wait for them to suit up. We can always bounce it next turn. Alright, we will zap you instead. Be gone, fell beast. We have no ability to hit double blue yet. So we're kind of a sitting duck for a bit. And let's hope they don't have uh, too much here. One to the face. I'll take it. What else you got? Flower Master. That's unfortunate. Doesn't give us any good bounce targets. And we don't have the blue to flood pits anyway. That's a cord. We can play that. And still hold open on summon. That's not too bad. Here they come. Who wants the aura? Okay. Trigger up. I will attempt to bounce you. They do get to replay it, though. See how this goes. Next turn. Okay. We're not out of this yet. I guess we could play a 5-3. I don't know how good that actually is. It's not awful, though. I'll tell you that. Maybe that is the play, actually. And then try to play the 6-mana card and then doppelgang after that. Please take the action. I'll take all the life we can get. I don't know if we necessarily have time for the Beanstalk per se. We like the land. Doppelgang could be a very good win con for us. I think it's just the Beanstalk here. Or the land. Like, we almost don't really need Beanstalk to win. Let's keep the land. Sheltered by Ghosts? Is that last card? Maybe? Let's see what that last card is. It is. Good for you, dude. Pretty nice last looking card. Alright, I guess it's you. We could, um, copy the Shelter by Ghost, right? Maybe that's silly. Who's worse? The hero scales up. You take one damage now. I mean, we don't really want to block the hero. I think I'm okay picking you off now. Before they put in a position where... It gets big, and then if we block, we take the damage anyway. That's not so bad. Let's see if you attack. No. Unsummon's also pretty big here. That almost wraps up the game. We just copy Shelter by Ghosts. Is that a thing you can do? Is that crazy? We've done this before. Auto pay. Take the action. Can take uh, maybe this guy. I don't know. We still have Unsummon open. Get him for six lifelink. Zap you. They could block with everything, but we have the Unsummon. Okay, to 17. And um, I think we should be okay from 23. I don't think there's really a hand that gets them there. They could hit another Shelter by Ghosts, um, but we have enough mana to unsummon next turn to get it all back. Sure. You got it. Okay, I think we're unsummoning the hero here, basically. That's also not bad. We can't actually, like, pay for everything, which is a little bit annoying. But let's try this. What a pay. We can also burst lightning. That is the top card, but we can zap it for one. Still pay the ward. Pretty expensive turn, but I want my um, draw engine back. And we might see the scoop on this.
Maybe the lightning's fine. Alright, that should be about game. Swing for six lifelink. Pick off another creature. Not bad. It's a lot of life, because you get the lifelink off of uh, the attack, and then also the effect is also getting lifelink there, I think. Good game. On the draw, pretty sweet opening hand here. Up against Jordan the Jew. Just coming right on out with it. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Hold up and lightning in and summon. Oh, interesting. Bant. All right, you have your draw engine first. Can we beat that? It's not a good start for us. That does not draw us cards. We've got eight copies of stuff that draws us cards, but they need to show up pretty soon. Let's see if they have the turn three. No, they don't hit a turn three Haunted Woods. That's good. Another Flood Farm. Strange. All right, we go double green here. Attempt this. Maybe it's countered. I don't know. Herd migration. Okay, so there are uh, domain ish, Atraxa ish type thing. Yep, draw a card. They're doing the thing. We're not. We're not out of the game yet, but we have a lot of work to do here. All right, it's just an overlord here. I don't think we need unsummon this turn. It's not even that good against them. There's no Atraxa yet. They could hard cast an overlord, which would be annoying, but we could bounce it on our turn. I guess we have so much land, we don't have to get the tap land down here. So let's just do it for this. To the face. Down to 19, we got a long way to go here. And still no draw power. That is a huge issue. And we can't unsummon it fast enough. <sighs> That's a pain in the ass. If I ever saw one. Can't stop it. We can bounce the Xur. Kill the Hauntwoods. But we kind of need to kill the Xur, honestly. Um, jeez. What's the best way to do this? Bouncing the Hauntwoods is pretty bad. I think we'd rather bounce the Xur. Every everything about this is awful. Ultimately, we have to kill the Xur or we lose. So, all we're doing by bouncing is... um. Saving them the lifelink, which may or may not matter. But the Xur is currently unprotected. So all things considered, maybe you let this go. We can't allow them to play more overlords and um, do more Xur things, so we gotta kill it. And there might only be a single Xur in the deck. So they get the lifelink, but that's basically the only upside of not bouncing the Xur. And we kind of have to answer it here. We could fires now. I guess Burst Nighting is kind of a little bit better. The fires gets worse as the game goes on, because they, they still don't have a draw engine yet. All right, let's just burst lightning here. I think this is what must be done. We hold on summon. I don't know if we will or not. It's not great into the beanstalk, I'll tell you that. Um, but they're turn two beanstalk, and we are just on the defensive here. Oh, jeez. I mean, it's awful every which way, right? I suppose we can bounce it. It's not good. comes back they get all the things again but we stay at 15 instead of dropping they play it for cheap so they got more stuff to do maybe another haunt woods here i missed wars all right turn two beanstalk doing the thing let's see if we can hit a draw engine it might be too late at this point land not it we can kick the fires to deal four damage to something which is probably what's happening this turn which means we can still play out the land okay Binding? That's not good. It's rough. It's rough, guys. Very rough out here. Human. That's a... That's a... Uh, it's another Xur? Damn. I guess they must have another one in the deck. Otherwise, you wouldn't bother with that. But oh, that's so bad. And again, we can't stop it because they can, they can activate it as many times as they want. And we don't even have damage to deal with it. That's pretty much game there. This is this is called death by turn two beanstalk. That's what's going on here. So um, yeah, I mean we're about we're about done here. I think we are officially done here. I will scoop on that death by turn two beanstalk. You got it. On the play, yeah, it's kind of okay. See how much work on someone puts in. 
Blue. Hold open and summon. It's Demir. That's not really good for us. I don't love to see that. Okay. Try this out. A little pain land damage. Never hurt anybody. Countered. Sure. Roughly tap out for the tome. Some more pain lands. Goodness gracious. Okay. Impend up. Down to 16. Scry now. One to the bottom. Zap your four. Okay. They do not want to tap out, which is a little bit awkward. I don't think we go for the doppelganger here, sadly. I mean, we could. So what else are they going to play here? I mean, if they're just running counter spells and removal, this really isn't good. We can wait till the whale next turn, I suppose. They do get to draw. I don't know if we'll ever have a good time to resolve a doppelganger without a potential counter. But at least we can attempt a whale here. For whatever that's worth. All right, keep drawing. Everyone's got their draw engines, except for us. All right, we attempt a whale. Let's see how this goes. They let it resolve. They could still kill it immediately. They don't kill it immediately. We don't really want to doppelgang yet because it plays into a sweeper. So we want to see how this attack goes first. Sack a creature. We could unsummon here. I don't hate that. And then uh, I think we're putting you in under. They might run sweepers. We're dropping low off these pain lands, but I kind of think they're not going to kill us via damage. Mark my words. We'll see later if they, uh, I don't know, get some creature land that, that kills us. For now, this is what we got. So the first boiler build just flips. They get to keep drawing off that freaking maze mine tome. So many cards. And back up to 20. Is it demon time? Manual taps. It's another tome. Just keep drawing. That's a good card. For sure. We attempt the attack. It's a lot of damage. Attack goes off. So, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, they know we have the whale. This is a good pick for us. I guess we'll name Whale here, even though we have more overloads to go. That was kind of huge. And we have a good answer to sweepers. The Whale can't get countered. It's pretty expensive to interact with. Disfigure for minus two, minus two. Um, hmm. So. Okay. Sure. They can take all the boiler bilges. Oh no, they don't even have enough. Um, I guess they're just trying to stack cards in the graveyard for the next cover up coming. So is this the doppelgang turn? They probably have another cover up, right? Which makes it uh, pretty awkward. So I don't think that's it. I think we're basically dropping another haunt woods underneath. Because I think they want to sweep down to 10. Keep drawing. I think they want to sweep and take all the whales out of our deck. We really need like another overlord. And then copy with doppelganger. Down to five. Okay. Yeah, they're just going to sweep this turn. So there's no incentive to do anything. We could copy the beanstalk, but that's not really where we're trying to be. They're getting close to a burst lightning victory. They can get more life off the tome. So I think we see the next deadly cover up here, is my guess. Draw again? Scry. That's interesting. Upkeep Scry. They need an answer. They must not have removal for the whale. Maybe they have more disfigures in hand? Chase, we're at 42. Let's see where that mill goes. They plus there. They're really kind of out of options. I think we could have gone for the win. Oh, that's pretty dang good. We definitely attempt that. Face? 
Um, yeah, let's go for it. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is there any way they can gain life here? Almost certainly not, right? I think just two is fine. We do it now in case they have, um... Three steps ahead. Cool. That was a good game for us. You don't always beat this deck. Like, this deck is very annoying for the most part, so I'm glad that one came together for us. On the draw. Looks good here. Mono red. Hold, open, unsummon. Mono red. I guess we cast unsummon. Dragon. Then I guess we whale. And hope that's enough for a little while. Hmm. No. Go back. Try again. Down to 18. I don't love that. Don't act like you have something. There you go. All right. So what are we doing next? We have the land for Overlord next for the Flood Pits. I'm sorry, for the Boiler Bridges next turn. Ramp is okay. I guess it's our only choice here, actually. Because we don't have double blue yet. So, this turn could hurt. But we could uh, build just next turn. Zap something. Dude has nothing, but um, that does scare me a little bit. Questing Druid. They do hit a white land. And they can play the claw here. Alright, I do think it's the build just time. Let's just zap some things. Goodbye. Game is not over by a long shot, but they are kind of bottlenecked on weird mana. Who knows if they even have green or want to play green. <sighs> yeah, there's definitely lots of burn in here. We have to be a bit careful. Another claw, okay. I think you just slam the... The whale's interesting. I think we just slam the overlord here. Down to 17. Draw a discard. Um, we probably don't need any more fast lands. I guess that's what we're going to play this turn. I really don't want more any more pain lands. But if we can attack with the flood blitz, draw a discard into more removal spells, we can wrap the game pretty quickly. And we're still sitting at 17. And we have a flying blocker versus like a rogue. You know, uh, whatever that thing is. Slick shot. All right. You got it. All right, swinging for the fences, hitting for five, down to 12. It's a lot of damage. We do flip the six five, which is pretty good. How wrong can you go just by slamming the whale, right? They do have lots of burn though, which makes the question a little more interesting, I think. They can't burn us yet. The Boros Charm, I mean, there's gonna be a serious burn in here. I think the whale is still better as a blocker. Now we have two blockers. We can double block, even if they go nuts this turn. Um, where's that? Uh, where's that charm? Target creature gains double strike. Like that's the kind of thing I at least want to be able to block my way through. But if they go four bolt waves, we do just lose. Dude's like, let's go. I will block with everything. Do what you got to do, man. Four damage to the face, down to seven. It's not good. Probably got one more of those in hand. We're seeing double bolt wave. Helix to the face, down to four. We only have 12 damage here. Can we possibly win? That does not help us win. Uh, we're pretty close to dead. I think we attack with everything and hope they have nothing. There's not a whole lot else we can do, realistically. We'll have a 5-5 five, five back, and uh, we have to win next turn or they win. And it's kind of just all our options, really. Okay. We got a 5-5. Five, five. Let's see if they can just burn to zero. Totally possible. That's three. And that's three. You got it. On the draw, we have all of our colors. We have early interaction. It's mono black with turn one duress. Probably the unsummon here, I would imagine. Yeah, unsummon interacts with the demons. Fast land, old burst lightning for like a bat, but they probably don't need to play into that. 
Okay. Fastland whale showing up. Set up for double green for Overlord on three. Let's see if they go right for Annex on three. Ooh, do nothing. Nice. Okay. Let's start ramping. Opponent on the do nothing train here. Now what? Some four, some four, four demons. That one we can zap with burst lightning. Which I think is all we're doing here, basically. Let's just bounce it with the whale, right? As long as we have blue open. I think that's kind of fine. So we just need double blue open. Um, so you're green. And you are also green, I guess. I'm oh, sorry, we don't need double blue. You're also green. Alright, keep ripping. We got the whale ready to go. Okay, send it back. Try again. Don't have any draw engines yet. Back to the top. It's Annex. They draw into it. They're doing the thing. It's just the tap land here. And it looks like we'll do a big burst lightning to kill the... Um, to kill the 2-4, unless they flip the chamber to make a 6-6, six, six, which also seems pretty reasonable. So we could kill it with double burst lightning. Or we could play the whale and start to put on kind of some serious pressure, which I think might be even better. Being stalks good, but kind of late to the party. Double lightning is interesting. Four there. Two there. So now we hit him for six. And we have the six, the next six fives flipping. So they kind of have to choose between um, playing more demons or dealing with multiple threats coming at them. That's a good draw with the beanstalk open. All right, they spend the turn on removal. So that means they can keep drawing. They can't really interact with the whale though. Ah, sack of creature. All right, you got it. We still have a pretty good follow up here. Down to 12. That's kind of nice. I think we're just double, we're just taking a huge draw turn here. Discard one of the lands. I guess we kind of need more blue in general. This can go. And we'll play one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we could flash in a whale. Okay, here comes the next Hauntwoods. Got a steady stream of threats. Ugh, steady, steady stream of threats. We'll play this out now, I suppose. Let's take the Hauntwoods. Draw off the Beanstalk. Okay, another whale's pretty good. I mean, they're in a little bit of a bind because we're forcing them to interact with our board state, which means they can't deploy a demon, which means they do lose two life off the Annex every turn. And sometimes they'll draw a removal spell off the Annex, but sometimes they'll draw land. That's a card. It is a combo card. It kind of demands an answer, which we do have here. I think we start with a full, uh, full Overlord. Keep that pressure coming. Double unsummon. Smells like lethal to me. Bounce you. Bounce you. Very nice. Good game. It's always good to meet mon mono black. Feels good. All right, thank you for staying to the end. If you enjoyed today's video, please drop a like, a comment, a subscribe. It helps out the channel so much. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.